He is a former Vanderbilt football player convicted of rape in a college dorm room. And just minutes ago, Corey Beatty found out he will spend the next 15 years of his life behind bars. Corey Beatty was convicted of seven counts, including aggravated rape and aggravated sexual battery back in August. And today, Judge Monty Watkins heard dramatic victim impact statements from several people, including Beatty himself and the victim. The humiliation, the pain, <coughs> the isolation, being reduced to nothing but a piece of flesh right before your eyes. It does something to you that's truly impossible to describe. I would like to start by saying that I'm deeply and sincerely sorry for my foolish behavior that took place on June 23rd, 2013. My actions that night were not intentional nor with a reflection of my character. My father would be very upset with the position I find myself in today. My mother and family did not raise me in any way to mistreat anyone, let alone a woman. Again, Corey Beatty has been sentenced to 15 years in prison. We'll have a reaction later today here on News Channel 5. A father and his son from Austin, Texas, are among the dead in the truck bomb attack in France. The two were on vacation with their families. At least 84 people were killed. Hundreds witnessed last night's carnage in Nice, France during a Bastille Day celebration. Here's some of what they saw. Cell phone video showing French police approach the truck was captured by this man, who moments earlier saw the driver swerve in his direction. I started to, to shout at him, like, stop, stop, there is a lot of people killed already or injured. And I saw him, uh, he left the wheel and he was just like, like moving uh, in a very nervous way. And he took something uh, like a cell phone. I thought all, all this time we thought it's an accident and I thought he is trying to call the ambulance. Chaos and confusion stretched for more than a mile along the Nice waterfront. Photographer Antoine Chavel heard screams through his apartment window. Just people, bodies everywhere, and people were trying to save their loved ones. We were seeing like people pass away basically, and because there was no time, there was there was nothing anybody could do. American Grace Ann Morrow took this video as she fled the scene. Running, I mean, just hauling butt, picking like you know, women with their children on their arms like this, or just running. Um, and you just kind of can't help but run with them, even though you have no idea what you're running from. One witness said it was only much, much later that she learned what she'd been running from. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York.